This is Jennifer Ballman with a Channel 3 News Update. Who's street? Our street! Who's street? Our street! A pro-immigration demonstration turned into a street blockade in Santa Ana when a group of protesters linked arms and stretched out in the middle of Santa Ana Boulevard. Eight demonstrators tied their arms together and covered them with tubes to create a circle of solidarity. I have a dream of one day being a good author. I still have a dream of one day being a good father. There were impassioned pleas from immigrant rights activists who demanded an end to all laws they consider racist. It's not right that we're always being displaced through gentrification, through deportation. That's not right. And it needs to stop today. The group targeted Arizona's Controversial Citizenship Enforcement Act, Costa Mesa's Rule of Law Resolution, and a federal program that allows local police departments to team up with ICE to deport undocumented immigrants. As we currently sit here on the ground, there's already thousands and thousands of families who are locked up in, in ICE detention facilities all throughout the country. No no this group of demonstrators is blocking a portion of Santa Ana Boulevard located directly in front of the federal building. They say that's symbolic of the fact that they not only want immigration reform here in Orange County, but across the nation as well. The Santa Ana Police Department kept an eye on the crowd for about two hours, then decided it was time to end the unlawful demonstration. Your conduct is in violation of the California Penal Code. With that, Police and firefighters moved in to separate the prostate protesters, carefully removing the tubes and ropes that linked them together. Some were put on stretchers, others were arrested and put in a paddy wagon. It, it takes me being in jail for a couple of days, and so be it. I feel that our people deserve justice. Despite the demonstration, a national survey shows a majority of Americans support Arizona's controversial immigration law and other efforts to clamp down on those who may have entered the country illegally. This is Jennifer Ballman with a Channel 3 News Update.